Kingdom Hall. This is Steele. Hi. Um, I was wondering if someone could help me with a question I had. Certainly. I'd be happy to. Okay. Well, it's on the um, – I was doing some – just looking around on the website and they have the um they have different bibles from yeah. that they've printed before so uh I was looking at for Thessalonians 4:16 okay um I don't know if you're going to look at it but it's in the I'm um pull it up. Yeah. it's a reference bible first you said uh 3:16 4:16 4:16 Reference Bible would be, uh, let's see there, 16, okay. Um, where it says, um, the Lord himself will descend from heaven. Mm-hmm. Um, and in the footnote, um, where the little star is by the Lord. Uh-huh. <clears throat> well, I was just interested in seeing that it says Jehovah. Yeah, there's, um, so... I can direct you to um, an appendix portion, actually, mm-hmm. of our uh, uh, 2013 revised edition of the Reference Bible. So, um, so we took. Oh, the, there's the a that's that's a revised edition of the Reference Bible. I thought it was just a, of the regular one. I mean, I thought it's just another New World Translation. So, are you so sure it's yeah, the Reference Bible? Right. So the Reference Bible was simply the New World Translation that was. Uh, in a like almost like a study format of, in right. a minor uh, in a minor way, so our 2013 edition is was the reference Bible that was taken and then revised with slightly updated wording just to make a little bit you know more modern and make a bit a bit more. Oh, sense. I didn't know it was the reference Bible. Oh, okay, sure that's was, interesting. Yeah. So okay, well I did look so it, in 2013 and they removed um, this footnote. So yeah, but in so in that mm-hmm. in that and the, I believe that the reason they removed the footnote is because they added the appendix. So if you go into the that version of the, uh, you can do it on the website, I believe, and I can open the website. So yeah, I don't. Perhaps. No, I don't. I think I've seen the appendix before too. It's about like why oh, they yeah. use the word Jehovah in the New Testament. Um, right. No, it's not that specific. I just think it's really interesting it they removed this one because here they actually use the J versions mm-hmm. for um, justifying, you know insertion of Jehovah um and here they list J seven eight thirteen fourteen and then that other those other letters which I think are a manuscript. Um right. so right. I, I know they love to restore the Jehovah's but it seems interesting the places like this that they don't do it. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of it has to do with the context as well. <laughs> um obviously when they when they make a decision of this nature they will. Um, it's it's thoroughly meditated on a, 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 a in a group of of individuals. So it's, meditated on. That doesn't sound yeah. very scholarly. I mean, it's like um, it's totally like you can see that why they don't re, reinsert. Well, they say restore the word Jehovah. It's totally uh, inconsistent. I mean, you can tell that it's to preserve their own views. See, because this would be difficult, but I, I wonder how they let that slip that the J versions have it here and they use those as a big justification, right? Right, right. That's yeah, just well, fascinating. Yeah, and it, yeah, it's a, I mean, it's it's like I say, it's decided upon um, as as a group of individuals, and so they they thoroughly will study the context mm-hmm. of it um, and and the original Greek. Obviously, manuscripts will consult those. I don't think they know the original Greek though. Just like the people who supposedly translated the New World Translation. Well, they'll, it's, they'll it's look at known. The, yeah, yeah. They'll look at the thing. That, I don't know if you've heard of the Kingdom Interlinear. Yeah, yeah. Now that's real good. That has no Jehovahs on the Greek side because because there aren't any because it's being Correct. honest yeah. to the manuscript. Right. Yeah. Exactly, right. And right. there is no manuscript that has it. You you do know that, right? In the in the Christian Greek scriptures, that'd be correct, yeah. Right, right. So that's just a whole interesting thing. Um how do you think they all got taken out? Is there any without any uproar from the Christians of that time or the early church fathers? It wasn't really the computer no. age, you know, like on JW dot org website, they can they can change anything and that everybody will then see like a new thing. Um, but, you know, do you know how the manuscripts were circulated in the ancient world? 
I personally do not know the answer. Right well, I mean, you know, they were letters. A lot of them were letters, and they became like encyclical letters. So it w- would go to the original church or assembly, um, and then ever, you know, they would copy it because it was so precious from the Apostle Paul, most of them. And then it would go to the next one, and then it would start going out in various streams, which is really a, a great thing because then if there was like little copy errors, now they can compare like mm, all of yeah. them that they can gather. So. Um, you'd have to have some some kind of theory of who gathered all of them to change all those words. <laughs> it wouldn't even it's not plausible at all. You you can't just they can't just state they were removed by you know copyists or apostates or something. It there's you know there's so no way it's even possible. And you know I've never so seen them your- g- Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, you know, it's mm-hmm. so amazing about your the, the timing of your call is uh-huh. that um, they actually just very recently created a brand new appendix. A, a, like a, uh-huh. it, it, they just released this new appendix. So I, I, um, I know that in the, the appendix that I mentioned earlier, it talks about the divine name and so forth. And you said you had read that. So I'm not going to point you to that. But the brand new appendix just came out. And it actually, uh, the very first, it's Appendix C. Um, and it's in that new study mm-hmm. edition of the 2013 revised. And Appendix C starts with, uh, I mean, it's all about exactly what you're talking about. And it's, it starts with the restoration of the divine name in the New Testament specifically. And so it gives, uh, this is just newly released information that, that, you, that you'd that probably really enjoy at that rate. Uh, and, and so there's do, a, do a know, four-part appendix. Do you ever wonder why no one else agrees with it, that there was some big conspiracy? I mean, do you realize that the Christians of the first three centuries sometimes died for protecting the scriptures? Oh, there was even a big controversy if someone should ever be allowed into the church if they had given up portions of scripture. Oh, well, certainly. Even um, Jehovah's mm-hmm. Witnesses in Russia are under ban, and mm-hmm. they're having property seized just on the so 14th of December. You're They've saying that those type of, of Christians uh, allowed that to happen and didn't, there's no mention of it in any of their writings, no outrage, no controversy. You know, the early church anti-Nicene controversies are well documented. There's no, no word about that in any writings. And they all use the, I mean, if you read the first three centuries of what we have, um, they all use the verses pretty much just as we have them now in, in right. other translations. It's amazing, actually. Right, but right. Uh, you know, well, I mean, it, you know, it's a known it's a known fact that Jehovah's Witnesses are uh, very much uh, a group of individuals who feel strongly about God's name and its uh, its existence in the scriptures and its importance in worship. So it would go without saying that uh, their efforts to uh, you know continue using it uh, in, to the best of their ability in, in regards to translation and, and otherwise. Uh, would be a, a staple of their worship. So, do you uh, think God's name, in, even in the Old Testament, always meant the letters Y H W H, or do you think it sometimes and often means something more than that? Like, if the Bible says, "Bless the Lord, bless Yahweh, O my soul, and worship His holy name," are you saying that you should worship Y H W H? See, that's the simplistic no, the, the, way the, they're looking at it. It's a very simplistic. No, it's the personality kind of behind the name. That's because right. That's just, we're made in His image. That's so, right, and that's you know, what Jesus meant when He said, "I came to make Your name known," because He also said, "He who has seen Me has seen the Father," seen the Father because yeah. He's the visible yeah. Yahweh is why, and that's why He makes His well, name known. He's a perfect known. reflection of His Father. You know, I mean, he's no, He's so the so visible Yahweh. He's the visible Yahweh. It says it in the. The fullness of the Godhead dwells in him in bodily form, it says in the King James Version. I mean, there's even uh, the messenger of Yahweh who appears in the Old Testament, and it says uh, his God's name is in him. Mm-hmm. So you know, and in Revelation, it even says it, it talks about that alongside you know, in, re- in reference to Jesus, it talks about you know, uh, it connects uh, God's name with him because right. You know, because that and that's that's, a, a that's an indication. Yeah. No, it's an indication of deity because um, God wouldn't give His name to anyone else. Um, but anyways, I mean that even the society says that um, if you don't restore all those Jehovahs, you might believe in the Trinity. It says that in their divine name booklet. So kind of to me, it is just that was a little slip, kind of revealing that there is an agenda there. 
And there's no scholarship because none of the people um, are scholars that that were involved in the New World Translation. Right. right. Wow, well, it's beautiful the amount of research you've done. That's really commendable. I, I, I think that's awesome. Most people are getting further and further away from their Bible these days, unfortunately. Really? So to know that, yeah. That, yeah if, not if not the people the, I hang out with. <laughs> Well, that that you're in the right group of people, I'd say. <laughs> well, not according that's to the awesome. Watchtower. They're just satanic, Babylonish like type people. <laughs> Anyways, hey, have you ever listened to any uh, church history lectures? I think you'd really like them. I mean, if you're open minded, they are they're super interesting. Um, there's one on YouTube by Ryan Reeves, and he's very R-E- even handed. R e e v e s. Yeah, yeah, it's so interesting. And when you get done with it, you know, I'm like, I don't even know what denomination he is i mean wow. he is a traditional wow. christian okay he's just but, a christian yeah that's beautiful i mean according to our beliefs and orthodox sure. christian. right of course well, not yeah. not according yeah. to you and witnesses right. he would be um satanic or something like that but um i right. think you might love it because you sound um a lot um deeper than most witnesses i've ever talked to so check it out sometime i mean i wouldn't tell anybody that you were listening what was to that first name you said ryan r-y-a-n reeves r-e-e-v-e-s all right. Well, I, mean, I appreciate you know, it, and I, yeah. I, I, I thank you for sharing sharing those points with me. That was really kind of you. Okay, and I'll check out the new appendix. Yeah, it's really neat. Okay, All right. thank you. God bless you. Enjoy your day. You too. Uh, bye bye.